today let's see some text effects text animation effects and some image effects this is previous day video for basic tutorials login to technotip.com now i'll just remove these things let me animate the text in today's tutorial so let me write it from scratch itself i'll give an id for this let it be move in today's tutorial we will be moving this text top and bottom we can move this text all around the document we'll see how to move it top up and down we will also include an image to show you slide in and slide out effects so this will be our basic html structure now let me start with the jquery as usual select the document when the web page is ready that is when the web page is completely loaded call the anonymous function uh, now we need to move the text well let's do like this we'll take some buttons html buttons here when the user clicks on the button let the text move so i'll be taking the button here i'll give an id i'll call it top similarly i'll take another button and call it i'll give an id as down okay i'll continue with jquery now so when the user clicks on top that is the button with id top the user event is click i'll call an anonymous function again now i'll select the move that is the string the div with an id move which contains the actual string to be moved here i'll give the value of its top 330 is enough and left as 200 The same code applies even for the button down for the button with id down so i'll just copy and paste it and change this top to down and change top property to 600 or something just from top 600 pixels let the left be the same i have misspelled the animate here let's see it in the browser well what's the problem here okay the selector is the problem here i'll correct that before that let me write some css here to pre-position this text I'm 
CSS. Okay, let me put the double quotes also here and check it inside the browser. No, oh, no down, so it's working now. I'll change its position. Let me make it just 200 now. So that it comes back to its original position. Okay. Now let me add image here. So we need to fill the address for SRC, that is the image. I'll copy our company logo here, which is hosted online. Oops. Let me remove this width and height for now. Okay, so we need to add some styling information to position it well on our HTML document. So let me create a button here an id called show image when user clicks on img underscore show the id for the button show image once the user clicks on this button, we call an anonymous function. Now we select the image tag dot fade in just let the image appear on the web page with the fading effect that is fade in effect okay it's working fine Now let's see slide toggle. This is my favorite. Let me pass a parameter called slow so that the animation, the sliding effect is actually seen to the user. Well, let us position this image somewhat below these buttons so that these buttons do not move once we click show image button. Okay. 
now it looks fine so let's see one more thing that is applying cascading style sheet properties and its values via jquery let me take another button for that i'll be changing the mm, color of the text here that is jquery is awesome the div with id move let me give an id of blue here and i'll change the text to blue color so now select this id blue that is the button with id blue for the click event call the anonymous function now select the text its id is move select the text since it's an id we need to append it with pound symbol here dot css now first parameter is its property second one is its value simple just to make it readable let's check it on our browser move up move down change color so it changed it to blue color now show image it's actually a toggle image so everything is working great so in today's class you learned a lot here like animating the text you can even animate the image as a tip take png transparent image and the image the animation would look more realistic type so you learned animating the text changing the color that is applying css via jquery and then fade in slide toggle etc in today's tutorial please practice this on your own and be subscribed to technotip.com and visit technotip.com for more videos share this video on facebook google plus twitter linkedin etc and please like this video on youtube